Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Germany episode number 13. We are doing well in our war against Russia. The only thing I would ask for, I would plead with my people, is to do some invasions. Let's take some territory. We can probably take, I mean, assuming the war doesn't end very quickly, we should be able to take two things. Um, certainly we we'll want to take Port Arthur. The, the Liaotung Peninsula, and I also want to take uh, the Baltic Stakes, if possible, because it looks like it is possible. So, um, given those two things, that would be great, and then I think actually we don't need to put our research for amphibious operations up to high. Okay, we'll probably just wait for one research increase in it before we... Um, Good. Um, before we, I don't know. I'm I'm actually wondering if I should even accept these at this point. 125. I'm just gonna say no. We'll take the cruiser. I think the um, actions closer over here should be more influential in causing um, an invasion. That's what I'm kind of led to believe. Although, actually, we need to keep sinking Russian forces since we need... It's 272 to 174, and we need a, a strong upper hand to fight to have invasion events trigger. So we, we should actually still wear them down. We've only, only been at war for eight months. Budget is looking extremely healthy right now. We still don't have super-firing turrets. I guess cross-deck fire kind of helps with that, but... What do we need right now? Okay, so I believe we've gotten the light cruiser armor. We have. Um, we really just need super firing, so we need the high intel with the United States. Maybe they surely have it by now. We probably have seen their designs, have we? Can I open these? Oh, that's the old one. Let's get the new ones. Huh, they don't, oh, okay, they do have super, that might be super firing rear, I don't know. Anyway. Well, let's use a little bit of our money on building bigger docks, not that, I think that we're already getting to the point where we're going to be building stuff which is pretty much big enough. We can also uh, improve our bases, even though they're likely enough to be invaded by foreign powers and... <laughs> <laughs> tossed away I find it's a, a nice thing to do just to make sure we don't have any problems wow 210 is pro probably more than we need there but we'll keep improving them what's our situation as far as fortifications go so actually pretty hard to determine what's going on here I guess the best way of doing it is just by clicking on each one. Three there, that sounds good. Four there, that's quite quite a number. So one in Guam, is that the air base? Do we not build them? Okay, I'll build one more six inch gun there. Because I, I don't know what we have there, but I'm sure we have a lot in Kaohsiung Bay. Two there. Probably should have, yeah, we have four there. I was gonna say we probably should have more than just two. This is fine. One here, so we will build one more fortification, I guess, one more six inch gun. It's good that it does, it's supposed to put more mines in the tactical map if you have a battle in the in the region. So that's a good thing. In Panama, we did a pretty good job securing with two six inch guns and I believe I believe it starts with a 10 inch gun itself, it does. So we have pretty good kit over there as well. Okay, all right, well I've spent some money. We'll go ahead and push on one more turn. All right, and this is not that important, but we are not necessarily winning it. Russian Navy's declining all these. We are still not invading. This is kind of driving me nuts. We must be really getting bad, having some bad luck. 
because we, <laughs> we, we, we were invaded on the like first month of war last time, and we can't, despite our superiority, I don't think the Russians have anything in that sea zone, cannot buy ourselves an invasion. Oh, this is raid against enemy... Okay, so what? where... Okay, I'm supposed to go up there. Fine, fair enough. Let's get these guys to be... 16 knots, please. Don't think we need to go too fast. Let's just take it nice and easy here. Time left in the day? Not much. Well, that could be a reason for us to push time forward. We're going to get there basically right when it's getting dark. Okay, let's creep up to 18, I think, with everyone. I don't like to do that, but it's going to make a small difference. It might help us get there during the day. And as soon as night falls, we'll drop back down to um, 18. I mean, uh, 16. I'm going to get these guys to actually move at 20. Just so they can have a little bit of time to form up in line ahead. Alright, let's see if that works. Slow them down to 18. Very little time left. Okay, good. Finally, so you are solo. Let's get this group to line ahead. 20. Oh, good. This is actually something worth sinking. In fact, we're probably going to... Oh, man. Probably going to have to pull back. We are definitely going to have to pull back. <laughs> we'll have to form up the line and get ready to go close range duel. Not really ideal, the Russians have so many... Might not even be able to fight this one, but okay, let's just try to sink some peripheral ships and then disengage. That's what I'm thinking we'll do. Any kind of peripheral ships. Okay, so those two, we're gonna have to watch out for that. So let's pull back right away. Let our armored cruiser do a little bit of the work here. I don't... It's like we have such little time, I don't know if I want... It's going to be another night engagement, I can see. Okay, I don't want to lose contact with them if I can help it. Let's see if we can help it or not. Okay, form up the line, get these light cruisers down. They've done a good job already of helping to protect me against my biggest fear, which is these destroyers. We've gone a little bit too far here. <laughs> Don't know why I wasn't paying attention to that. It's actually really nice to have those light cruisers in front, though. The screen against, you know, the more important part of it. Okay, so they do have one dreadnought left. Wow, they have super firing. You gotta be kidding me. What is wrong with my random number generation in this game? How do the Russians have anything before us? Russians have a poor education. This is a very interesting playthrough. I'm, you know, this is still very early on in the patch, by the way, as well. So it's not. I'm not even sure everything is working as designed. It could be, but this is very bizarre to me. The entire playthrough has been a bit cursed. But we're doing well in this battle. Let's see. Oh, God. Okay, good. Jam Center. I can deal with Jam Center. We don't want to move anyway. 
Uh, we may want to move. We may want to move very, very quickly. Okay. They are in torpedo range. There's their battle line turn away. We have about two turns. One. Two. Execute the battle line turn away. Just momentarily, we'll put them all back on the line as soon as this uh, order is complete. That's probably enough. We'll do one more. Uh, they're actually taking the bait coming. So we'll get everyone back to line ahead at this point. Whoops. It won't actually work unless you turn off, turn together. There we go. And the Kapsun Haas has not turned at all, because of course her rudder is jammed center. All right, let's get these light cruisers cooking up to speed and have the armor cruiser just fall in at the rear. Oh, Kapsun Haas has regained control. We're doing pretty well though, I mean as I'd expect. Oh wow, we're actually launching torpedoes. A few of them look like they're doing alright. Get some hits here. No. Quite a few misses, unfortunately. And here comes the utter darkness. Man, right as we're starting to land some really good damage on this. There it is. So obviously this is the time for our lighter escorts to shine, which we have none of. <laughs> Captain Haas, how badly damaged are you? Okay, not very badly. So what we're going to do is just angle up a bit and hope that that's where we're going to find them coming into us. But we want our light cruisers to lead the way on this. Whoops. I presume that they're going to turn away. Okay, they have not. These are there? Wow. Okay, this is going to make for a very exciting little bit of time here. I'm gonna ride this out. We're gonna launch torpedoes. These guys are okay. We're pulling back. And they are coming into us, which is, yeah, this is a good thing. Let's see if we can't uh, maybe land a torpedo here, which would really be helpful. <laughs> Remember, we're still actually supposed to be... <laughs> we are actually supposed to be sinking two ships to call this a success. Uh, that's not the one I would want. Uh, it's going the other way. No, that's not what I want. Neither of those is what I want. Let's turn back a little bit away. Oh yeah, that looks good. And you now probably have friendly, yeah, friendly, friendlies in the way. If not that, I'm sure it would have been uh, there. It is. That's the hit we were looking for. Very good. So that's remember our goal objective: two ships sunk. I think we might have already have accomplished that. Let's try to be a little bit careful here. We can actually lead the way on this side. Oh yeah, immediately she's getting drummeled with extra rounds. That's not going to help her day at all. And what's the best news about this is actually she's dead in the water for the moment. So let's take our shots while we can. Can we? Not with this side. Okay, well just go ahead. You're one lone light cruiser. 
We will trade you. <laughs> Don't think about it this this way, but we will trade you for a dreadnought if that's how it ends up going down. So we're just gonna prepare the starboard side torpedoes. Here they are. That should be just in range. And we'll want to angle a little bit so the next one's also available to launch. Ah, good. She already did it. Perfect. So if we get one more hit, we can probably safely pull away knowing that we've sunk at least a two ships minimum. And actually the... Okay, perfect. Didn't hit with that one. But we still have one more shot. <laughs> Maybe even more than one more shot. Two, I suppose. Let's get nice and close and finish her off. This is what our armored cruisers are nicely prepared for. So what will they be doing with the rest of their fleet? That's what we want to ask next. First of all, I might even just... Oh, man, I keep looking at this and it looks terrible, but it's because one of her two main guns is, is disabled for the moment. And that always puts their red meter up. Okay, wow, she got hit again. Yeah. There it is. She's sinking. Very good. So hold torpedo fire for the moment. Don't need to engage any further. You don't have any torpedoes left anyway. So don't worry about holding fire. All right. So unsighted is hitting us. They are doing some damage. We are looking for those easy ones we can pick off. I mean, hey, picking off a dreadnought obviously is pretty good. <laughs> The best situation, really. <laughs> as far as strategic points go, that's what I'm referring to. Excuse me. Um, you know, the blockade points and stuff like that. So we've already... We have our victory. We have our two ships sunk for sure. I feel like we'll just pull off and let this one come to a close. Because we don't need to push our luck. We're actually doing fairly well. We'll just try to monitor, make sure nobody's flooding too much. I, I mean, we, we it's just been a very simple, very easy engagement. So, we'll just write it out, I guess. And there might be some merchants with survive or whatever, but yeah, there's our objective complete. So at least we get the extra points for that. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we killed a third ship. That might have we might have done enough damage to one of the other ones, but since we're being very really aggressive, I don't want to go too close. Ah, see, something like this. So what I want to do is save her. And we'll send back some people to monitor her. We will not send back the battleships because otherwise she'll reattach. Okay. I very much doubt she's going to sink. Flooding of three. Yeah, we probably could have fought this one a little bit longer. We had plenty of time left. Going to get her up to six. Should be okay at six. Yep, just waiting for this battle to end now. And that should be good. There we go. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. It's a little absurd, man. The enemy submarines are just really every event, man. It's like every battle we're getting hit by. <laughs> I'm, I'm growing fatigued. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I gotta laugh, otherwise... I'd, if, I, if I wasn't going to laugh, I'd cry. No invasions, battleships getting sunk by submarines. 
We even have ASW. Let's build some AMCs here, which can count as Q ships. <sighs> okay, I want them to be really cheap. Six inch guns, fantastic. I think we'll add another pair. And I don't know, if we can't have armor, right? Can you have armor? Yeah. Don't think you can have armor. So the main goal is just to hope that she can sing something before she herself is sunk. Um, we'll give her 16 knots of speed. She's really cheap. Wow, 1.5 million actually. Not nearly as cheap as I expected, but... 17? 18? Ah, ship is overgunned. Okay, so let's remove these last two. Oh, it's fine if we increase the displacement. So what does it have to be at? Okay, this is still overgunned. 4,000 is okay. What's the limit? 3,800 maybe? No, 37. 36. 35. 34. Huh, maybe it's 3,000. Okay, so 3,100 counts for this. Okay, perfect. So we have a lot of weight remaining. Let's add some torpedoes, I guess. And... <laughs> I don't know, make her extreme range. <laughs> make her reliable. Why not? We have the extra tonnage, right? So 1.7 million, how much is that mostly due to the extreme range? That is substantially due to the extreme range. We'll make her long range. This will be kind of fun. I haven't really played around with AMCs a whole bunch. We can give her mines too. Absolutely, give her 100 of them. And minesweeping equipment on top of that. No, let's not give her minesweeping equipment. But 100 mines, that's, that's pretty nice. We actually have AA positions <laughs> available. No, we just can't use them. We don't need AA guns. Okay, so this is kind of a funny little critter. But we can only carry a maximum of 62 mines. What are you talking about? It says back here, max is 100. It's all okay. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know what this thing is. I This is an embarrassment. I must be really tired. I am really tired, but... This is kind of an embarrassment. We're going to build a whole bunch of them. Let's see how they perform. They are scrapped when the uh, at the end of the um, war, so it's kind of painful to pay that much. But rate of fire penalty reduced for guns below 8 inches in turrets, which is very nice. Great Britain, we hate you. No to all. Yes. Decline, decline. I would like a convoy defense, actually. That's kind of a fun mission. All right, let's see what we're up against here. So a little surprised we didn't run right into them or that they didn't run right into us. What kind of destroyers do we have here? We need new destroyers. Actually, these are not bad. This Balkenheim class is actually good. Yeah, I forgot about them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we get these guys up to squad max. I'm assuming that's going to be a lot of... Destroyers, but if they have armored cruisers, we are hosed. Alright, 
right, let's just go to 20 knots. I think that's going to be okay. Let's wait on them. Okay, we're starting to fire now. Doing some good damage to some of their peripheral destroyers. Done some good damage so far. It's just a good old fashioned duel. <laughs> Let's take a look at the log and see how badly we're doing. Yeah, I mean, we've, ta we've taken a few hits. What's this Vesta that we're up against? It has four inch guns. That is wonderful news. Good news, everyone. We should have no problem dispatching this group. They have one that's slow. Does that mean it's time to motor on up and torpedo her? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. This is so, this is actually fun. <laughs> No. Okay, so this is the one disadvantage. I kind of warned myself about this. Two-inch turrets, they can blow up. And now theirs can easily blow up too. We just haven't gotten that lucky, which is, I guess, kind of par for the course in this playthrough. Let's not play the pity party, but it would be... It's just strictly true that we are not getting particularly lucky. So, did we engage this? We did, yeah, because we do want to torpedo the hell out of this thing. That's enough. No! Oh, we're getting really unlucky here. We see the torpedo. What kind of madness is this? Okay, let's take evasive action. I'm, I have no idea what's going on. Get back here. <laughs> Get back here quickly. All right, so what the hell is going on here? Okay, stop launching torpedoes. Stop, 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 stop. She's dead. She's dead, Jim. Got, I mean, we probably are gonna wipe the floor with all these in the end. I said stop launching torpedoes. All we need to do is avoid torpedoes ourselves, you know, avoid additional flash fires. Wow, a four inch gun did that. That's actually really impressive. I mean, this is not good. I'm not happy, but their four inch guns caused my flash fire. That's aggravating. <laughs> okay, now you guys can launch torpedoes. To your heart's content. He's neck. Can you launch this close one? Yes. Alright, we'll pull away. Got her. Alright, they're all sinking. Let's return. Just get out of here. We've done our job. Let's not risk any further losses. Actually, the light cruisers will stay behind. Their jobs go to squad max and actually just rope in as many of these um, destroyers as possible because there are so many enemy destroyers we do need to take as much time as we can to thin out the herd let's get them to stop firing for now Pursuit. Pursue them. Always troubling to pursue a line of destroyers at night. Yeah, I think we lost them.
I think we lost him. Let's go back and double check though. Yeah, we'll pick up survivors, which is where I was hoping that they would be. But no. So now when c spots the submarine, I think that we destroy it immediately, right? I don't know. <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> oh, unknown ship. Unknown ship. Oh, this is good. Okay, squad max. This is them. We found them. By the way, I am going to go in with my destroyers just to pinch them off if possible. I just really don't like these destroyers, and if we can get rid of them, if it's possible, we definitely want to. Okay, let's get these guys up to 20. I don't know if our destroyers are capable of destroying theirs, though. They have two 4-inch guns. It's not They're definitely not gunboat style. They're doing some dancing though, I tell you. I don't know what they're doing. I can't tell. But they're making this episode go longer. <laughs> sea state limits show. Actually, that could help us. 26 knots? Nope, it's not going to help us. Should we give one final burst here? Things are very fast. 32 knots, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah, we lost those two. It's still a victory for us, but we only destroyed one of their destroyers. It's still slow progress, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a little deflated. <laughs> Things are not going... Okay, let's get that invasion going. That'll, that'll change the... Hmm, grave casualties. Okay. Heavier than air. Okay, well, we got to focus on that. Yes. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so this heavier than air thing, I think that's very important. <laughs> we only went medium into naval. We want high. We have too many things on high, but that's the fun of it, right? Still plenty of money. We'll get these AMCs out. Damn it. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, squad max. Is it an armored cruiser though? This is what we need to be a little bit careful about. No. In that case, go in. Oh, it's another Vesta. Mono a mono, we'll take you on. Go down to 20 to preserve speed. She will slowly get away, but that's actually okay. We're just going to stay the course here. We're already landing some good hits. She has no armor whatsoever. Just one inch. Everything, pretty much every shell it lands should be like doing significant damage. Yeah, and we. I think we've already sunk her. There. <laughs> okay, that, that, well that made me a little happier. <laughs> Yeah, we probably do need to switch to rating. I can't tell, by the way. I'm pretty sure rating does not contribute to strategic points. We probably should do it anyway, though. Yeah, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to like kick up our rating efforts. First of all, we can get one of our battle cruisers to do it. We can get one of our battle cruisers to do coastal, uh, to do trade protection. And the last one will just sit in active fleets. We're covering all of our bases there. And then we're going to get some raiders going on ourselves. Yes. Let's get you into raiding mode and... 
Well, that's a lot. We'll get four into raid. And I want to actually ship some more out to Northeast Asia. What is the point advantage over there? They have nothing. They have nothing. My goodness, just invade. The flippin' heck. Just invade. Yes! Invasion battle! What does that mean? <laughs> what? What does that mean? They're not being invaded. They can just cancel the invasion by not having ships there? Hurry! Uh, Hmm. This is a problematic situation. I do believe <laughs> we're going to have a hard time with this one game. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Yeah. No. Yes. Okay, we'll fight this one. This might be a battle cruiser. Do they have battle cruisers? Let's do our due diligence. They don't. Okay, good. So this is a one that we want to fight no matter what. There it goes. Squad Max. And her Squad Max is actually not that great, but... Oh, it's an AMC. Huh, go figure. So we'll set our AMCs to raid as well. And even though it's like 1.6 million or whatever per turn to build, that's not as bad as it seems because... It's only for four turns, so it's a pretty cheap ship here. I mean, it's like, what, six million total? Basically the cost of a... Okay, that's that was a pathetic... Why did the game make me fight that? I don't know. But uh, that, that's a, it's a pretty pathetic um, number. Oh, pathetic is a bad way of saying it. A very low number. It's the same as destroyers, right? Let's just check this. Let's confirm. So these cost 6.6. .6. And destroyers cost, yeah, about half that. Well, you know, you might get more value out of the destroyers. I'm kind of feeling destroyers right now. So while we're doing nothing else, let's get a bunch more destroyers. We have plenty of budget. I kind of like keeping a little budget in reserve. I don't want to go to war with France. Why? This game is just absolutely going crazy. It it's not doing anything I want it to do. We're already building larger docks. <clears throat> Naval aircraft. Wow, 1.4 million just for these. What? Is it... Is it because of the airship bases? Is that what this is? Yeah, okay. 72 airships at 18. I guess it's 18 per. I'm 72. Okay, got it. Okay, well that makes sense. It's nice that when you hover over, it gives you a nice detailed pop-up. Very good job, Frederick, the developer. Fantastic. Uh, no, these revolutionaries can be dangerous. Lock them up and throw away the key. That's exactly supposed to be the Lenin event, I believe. <laughs> so it's funny. Okay, accept. What is going on? Tortuga frustration levels are rising. They're over 9,000. Let's try it again. Don't collapse, damn it. Let me invade first. Okay, they're all done. No to all. Start our raid. Uh, raid, raid, raid. Oh, we got a bunch of these. I didn't even realize we had that many. Go to raiding mode. Please, 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 please. Okay. Um, huh. Cruiser action, no. Yes. Okay, intercepts Russian Raider. I don't think we want our AMC intercepting Russian Raiders. <laughs> that is, this is not the design, the, the game plan. Can I change this to something else? I don't like this.
Okay, my hope is that if we stay on search line, when one is destroyed, the other one will not die. Oh no, what is she doing? Like, what is this? Yeah, just run away. I'm gonna detach as soon as possible. Is it possible that we could defeat her? Yeah, okay, let's... We're gonna chance it, why not? Actually done a good job so far landing hits. We want to. We want to be perceived as weak, though. Bring them in, draw them in. Obviously, no, we are, you know, not just a merchant ship. Some good damage so far. All right, pursue. <laughs> Now we have two forward firing turrets, so unless they destroy both of those. No! Come back here! I mean, we have no idea where she went. Okay, well, we'll just head random directions, just random number generation, which has not favored me this episode or this series. But you can't say that too many times, Dorduga. It's going to come off as being bitter. It's still a fun game to play. But there are these moments of frustration, I would say. Wow. what? Who is in charge of this game? I did not see that one coming. I should have. I wasn't looking at the reports or anything, so I, I probably could have done a better job managing that. All right, six down, six million down, flush down the drain. <laughs> yeah, it could have gone better. Let's instead of putting these on raid, let's put them on trade protection, which is what they sh probably should be doing. Maybe this new one gets thrown into the ring as a raider. Okay, medium submarines and shipboard aircraft operations. Ha what the heck? Yes! Oh, we don't even have fighters yet. How are we... This is insane. I mean, they do have fighters, but this is pretty cool. We'll take it. Our Q-ship AMC is surprised and sunken enemy submarine. Fantastic. Hit a mine. All right. Rating is... I don't know. We'll probably... Okay. How did we get this invasion to fire? Sunk. Damn it. <laughs> it was going to happen anyway, right? Better than actually sitting watching. How do I get this invasion event to fire? Like, what did the British do to invade the Bismarck Archipelago in one month? What's their secret? The Russians have zero ships there. They actually have zero ships in any of the surrounding... They, they just don't have any ships there at all. <laughs> they have no ships there. Please. <laughs> please, game, please. Please. Ah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we haven't gotten uh, any of the technology I want as far as um, being to be able to design the next Dreadnought. And, you know, this is the point of the game. Is that you're supposed to pick these points. I mean, you're supposed to just essentially be forced in to design something which is not as efficient as you'd want it to be. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I frankly don't I think we have to wait for super fire. I mean, the, at 1915, it's... Okay, let's put this up to max with basically everyone, except for France. We want technology. Bring us technology. Yeah. Oh, they don't have super firing, but maybe they have it now. This is really cool, seeing in Congo, 30,000 tons. What is that? Nice. Just nice. Okay. Scouting force, not what I want. 
Our new fighter is ready for operation. Unfortunately, we're placed using his poor gun platform. Not surprising. We sank a pff, Corvette. Who cares? Uh, sinking the battle, the submarines is actually more important to me. And I think what we're gonna do is. No, I'm not fighting. No, I refuse. We're so close. Uh, I think what we'll do is start building up uh, just a ton of submarines. So let's put our research in submarines up to high instead of low. Yeah, let's put it up to high. We'll put ASW technology. No, that one stays on medium. It's really hard. I'm, I'm, I know that there's so much value in all of these. It's really hard to... Okay, so what do we need this for? Triple torpedo mounts. Double torpedo mounts already really, really helps a lot. I'm going to put this one to low. I just can't do it. See, I, I physically wasn't able to. <laughs> submarines. Submarines for high. I think this is good. Which is, Let's just boost this for a while. Get a bunch of good submarines. I might even build some submarines just right now. We do have a pretty sizable budget. We can get the medium ones. Maybe just eight. I was going to say seven, but we'll go with eight. And we'll build a few more as soon as we can with the research. We have 16 inch guns. This is insane. So we can actually, well, no, I don't want to. We have quality one six inch guns. We have quality zero 16 inch, 16 inch guns. Uh, this is crazy. So do we want to do this? We should win again. Um, if we want to invade here, we have to, but the thing is, we're not, I feel like the invasion is bugged, and every turn is costing us three million in planning. Wow. All right, let's do this. Maybe I need to switch up my tactics. Actually, we really ought to not do this one here, though, because it is 47 minutes into the video, so I guess we'll, uh, go ahead and call this video to a close here is this a coastal raid no this is a fleet battle we'll scout them first and then we'll uh wait oh i guess we're not I guess we won't scout them okay so i'll just save here we'll call this video to a close and we'll pick it up in the next episode with a fleet battle to start it off and I will sit here and silently wonder what we need to do to get an invasion to fire. In fact, if anybody has any advice, okay, educated advice. Let's not just throw anything on the wall and see what sticks. But if anybody has any clues as to what will help this invasion get triggered, please let me know. Otherwise, um, I don't know if I did this in the last episode or in this one, but I am going to put a link to a discussion we have going on about the peace terms. Basically, I kind of I posted the peace terms I got from Great Britain. Said that I'm not sure those are, you know, kind of. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not they're good to have in the game or not. Yeah, whether or not they're good to have in the game. So, uh, if you have any comments about that, I know a lot of people were pretty agitated, as I was to a degree, uh, when that peace deal came up, and. Uh, so I, I wrote about that, and there's been a lot of people who basically would defend, who have defended that peace deal. So if you have any thoughts on that in either direction, for or against, I'll have a link for that. I either had it pinned in the last video or I have it pinned in this one. So anyways, thanks for watching, and until the next video, take care.